I am that which whispers, which carries, which connects, this thread of life, adrift, untethered. It must be woven back into the fabric of the world. Remember. Remember who you are. Now go. Return to the land. To your destiny. Cry out. Call out your name. Where... where am I? Is this, this what, what the crystal, crystal wished to show us? Without, Without a doubt, doubt, my lady. Where the light led, there he lay. Are those voices? But whose? Twould seem he is a young man of the sea. This is all a little unexpected, I must say. But I trust you, Sir Sloane, and I trust the light of the crystal. He may not seem much, my lady, but appearances can be deceiving. In any case, he is in need of urgent treatment. Let us return to town with all haste. We will talk more of what this means at a later juncture. Can't believe I survived. <sighs> huh? Where... where am I? You are in Halcyonia, in an inn. Don't be alarmed, you are quite safe. Now that you appear to be capable of speaking, perhaps you could tell me a little about yourself. Me? Uh, sure, I mean, <laughs> I'm just a regular sailor, I guess. 
My ship got hit by this huge wave, and I was swept overboard. I... I don't remember anything after that. Guess I must have drifted here on the tide. I see. Then perhaps it was the crystal's will after all. Huh? What do you mean? Ah, our young seafarer has awoken at last. Verily, thy plight hath troubled us greatly, friend. We had feared the very worst. This is Sir Sloane, the royal man-at-arms. The... what? Come, my lady, we must make haste. It will not do to keep King Vernon waiting. Indeed not. We will leave right away. Wait, you're going to meet a king? Who exactly are you? Gloria of Musa, at your service. Princess Gloria of Musa, if you prefer my proper title. Although, since my kingdom was destroyed, I've been unsure whether I'm worthy of it any longer. You're a princess. I shall explain everything in due course. For now, you would do well to rest a while longer. Uh, sure. Okay. Feeling better now, are you? Uh, yeah. Thanks for letting me stay here. Don't mention it. It's only right to help people out when they're in need. Well, thanks all the same. So this place is called Halcyonia, right? Can't say I've ever heard of it. W where exactly are we? Ah, oh, I didn't think you were from around here. All right, let me show you on a map. Ah, uh, here we are. What the? This map doesn't make any sense. Where the heck am I? I heard you met with something of a calamity. Yeah, I guess you could say that. My ship was hit by a giant wave. Must have been a freak storm or something. Oh dear. Yes, we've been hearing a lot about enormous waves and the like lately. We're all right here in the city, but I heard they wreaked havoc down on the coast. That doesn't sound good. Maybe I should go check it out. See if I can figure out what happened to me. Well, the seaside's not far south of here. Follow the road out of town and you'll be there in a jiffy. Tell you what, why don't you take the map with you in case you get lost? Really? Thanks. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Princess Gloria, thank you for joining us. I think you may have some inkling of why I have summoned you here. It concerns the future of the Musen royal line. It has been three years now since you came here to our kingdom. And while I can only imagine your pain at having lost your realm under such tragic circumstances, there comes a time when one must turn from the past and begin to look forward. I wonder if you might consider making your stay here a more long-term arrangement. Prime Minister Horton has convinced me that in finding you a suitable match, we might sooner bring about the restoration of your kingdom. Has he indeed? Thank you, Your Majesty. Yes, with King Vernon's permission, I have instructed my heralds to canvas potential suitors for you, Princess Gloria. Muser's unfortunate end need not mean the end of its illustrious line, after all. I see. And have you any thoughts on the matter, Sir Sloane? The honourable gentleman's line of reasoning is not without merit. Such an arrangement would indeed benefit Musa in the long term. Ah, wise words, Sir Sloane. Your reputation as both a warrior and a thinker is well deserved, I see. Yet I would not dream to speak for Her Highness, of course. Tis she and she alone who must decide. King Vernon, your concern for my well-being is, as ever, far more than I deserve. Alas, I have a sacred duty to perform before I can even begin to consider such worldly affairs. This being so, I am afraid I have no choice but to respectfully decline your suggestion. What? How dare you treat my... I mean, King Vernon's kind offices with such disdain? Why, a match has been all but agreed already. Do you wish His Majesty to look a fool? That will be quite enough, Horton. We have no right to expect anything of Princess Gloria beyond her kindness in hearing us out. We are friends and allies of long standing, and her wishes will be respected. If it is not impolite to ask, Your Highness, what is this sacred duty of which you speak? The time has come for me to recover my kingdom's greatest treasures, the Four Crystals. <sighs> Fortunately, thanks to Sir Sloane, the Wind Crystal is safely in my possession already, but the whereabouts of the others remain unknown. And that does not bode well. Fire, water, wind, earth, nature's masters. The crystal's power exceeds the hand of man, and if unleashed, would bring down death, disaster, calamity and blight upon the land. I learned those lines as soon as I could talk. And if I understand them correctly, the troubled seas may be merely the first among many calamities to come. It is my duty, no, my destiny, as Princess of Musa to do all that I can to prevent further misfortune befalling our world. And I shall fulfill it. Very well. I understand completely. Princess Gloria, you must go. You must fulfill your destiny. Thank you, King Vernon. Your understanding in the matter is much appreciated. Duh.
It's terrible, isn't it? Uh, yeah. I mean, I heard it was bad, but... This is something else. Oh, you should have seen the size of the waves. They smashed absolutely everything to pe- <gasps> A monster! Quickly! Get out of here! Watch out, guys! Okay, then. Times have I told you? I'm a big picture guy. He's all right, isn't he? Don't sweat the details. Someone has to when you're going around nearly frazzling people. Are you all right? Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> but uh, who are you exactly? Just a couple of concerned passers-by. This guy's a wandering scholar, and I'm the one he hired to try and keep him out of trouble. The name's Adele. Oh, and I'm Elvis. Anyway, enough chit-chat. We've got a battle to finish. Try not to incinerate anyone, okay, Elvis? Aye, aye. <laughs> I'll do my best. Hmm, what's the plan? Press buckle down! Oopsie daisy! Here I go! Here I go! Okay! Oh, I was ready for that one! You rang? Eat sorcery! I'm up, huh? Okay then. And in a scrap, on you, laddie? That was some tasty brawling. It really was. You were definitely more help than a certain so-called scholar I could mention. Oh, aye. Less of that. I pulled my weight fair and square. Isn't that right, pal? Huh? Oh, um... Yeah, definitely. Oh, you're only saying that because he put you on the spot. It's all right, you know. You can tell us what you really think. Besides, if you're nice to this one, it'll only go to his head. <laughs> and what would be so wrong with that, eh? Go on, son. Praise away. I could do with a wee boost to the old self-esteem. Believe me, that's the last thing he needs. Uh, anyway, thanks for helping me out back there. Uh, miss. 
<laughs> hey, less of that. It's just plain Adele, okay? Aye, we don't stand much in ceremony as to. What are you doing scrapping with monsters anyway? You don't look like your average warrior, I must say. Oh, I was just helping out an old lady who was in trouble. Ah, have a go hero, eh? Very noble. I reckon you and me are going to get along just fine. Uh, which is lucky, because I'm about to take you back to town and treat you to a wee drink. Oh, really? <laughs> are you sure? Am I sure? <laughs> After a bonding experience like that, I insist on it. Well, in that case... All right. That's the spirit. Ho <laughs> ho! Then away to the tavern we go. I've worked up a right old thirst. Oh, but before I forget, have you seen one of these about the place? What is it? It's called an asterisk. Us two are on a journey collecting them, which is how we ended up happening across you. But we're not friends or anything. I'm only here because he hired me. Ah, guy, details. Anyway, we heard there was someone around these parts in possession of one of these wee beauties, so I was wondering if you might know something? No. Sorry, guys. I'm not from around here. Matter of fact, I'm not even here by choice. I got shipwrecked and just kind of washed up nearby. A shipwreck? Talk about a calamity. Yeah, I guess. But hey, I'm still alive, and I wasn't too badly hurt, so... Aye, sounds like you're plenty to be thankful for. Not least of all meeting the two of us. Now, shall we go and celebrate or what? That bar won't prop itself up. <laughs> Your Highness, a wandering merchant brings most worrisome tidings. The desert kingdom of Savalon is beset by a sudden abundance of water. So much so that full half the capital has been submerged. A deluge in the desert, milady. Tis unheard of. I would fain hazard a guess that this is a crystal's doing. Savalon? The kingdom is a muse and ally of long standing, and King Orion is a fine man. I am sure he would be happy to tell us more about what has been happening. We should head there right away. One moment, milady. Lurk not in the shadows, rogues. Show yourselves. Very impressive, Sir Sloan. The greatest swordsman in the land is still as sharp as ever, it seems. Thou knowest me. Then thee and thy companion are no mere sneak thieves, it would seem. Perhaps thou might do me the kindness of an introduction. Well, since you asked so nicely, my sharp-eyed friend, I am Selena. Yeah, and I'm Dag. We will come straight to the point, yes? Princess Gloria, we want the Wind Crystal. Please make this easy for everyone and hand it over. W what? Come now, do as we say and no one will have to get hurt. Never mind all the fancy talk, Selena. Let's just bash him and take the bloody thing. The old codge has already got one foot in the grave. We'll be done with him in no time. Thou thinkest me too old to school thee, boy? There is life in this whole dog yet. <laughs> Ooh, Gramps has got a temper on him. Well, rage all your light, mate. You don't stand a chance against me. Is that an asterisk? Too right it is. Bet you wish you'd just given us the crystal now, don't ya? Bring it, old man. <laughs> what? Was it you? Do the despoilers of Musa stand before me? 
music? What are you on about? Hmm. Mayhap you are mere mercenaries. In which case, whose coin hath purchased thy services? Hmm. I'll show ya. Oh no! Game's up, Grandad. Put the sword down, or the kid gets it. S stop it! L let me go! Sir Sloan, you must do as he says. What kind of monster takes a child hostage? Whatever! It worked, didn't it? All's fair dinkum in love and war. Now shut your whinging and hand over the crystal. Please, stop it! I do not have the crystal. Hey? You have hidden it somewhere. Very well. Then we will just have to take you instead. Never! You will let the child go free? Then I will do as you say. Princess Gloria! Hostage trade, eh? Hmm, not a bad idea. And I'd probably go along with it too if Greybeard here hadn't rubbed me up the wrong way. <gasps> Sir Sloan! Fear not, Your Highness. It will take a mightier blow than this to fell me. Will it now? Well, there's a coincidence. Because that's exactly what I was about to give you. Ready or not? Your Highness! I have already agreed to come with you. There is no need for further bloodshed. Oh yeah? Think you can tell me what to do, do ya? You ain't the princess of me, girly. All right, Dag. You have had your fun. But... Ah. She was telling the truth. She does not have the wind crystal. Now, do as we promised and release the child. You can walk, yes? You must fetch the wind crystal and bring it to the abandoned house north of town. Once you have done that, we will release Princess Gloria. But if you even think about bringing help from Halcyonia, well, I am sure I don't need to tell you what would happen. Tell you later, Drongo! Princess Gloria! <sighs>
Somebody help me! You okay? What's the matter? Uh, a horrible man and woman took me, but then an old man and another woman came and saved me, but then the man got attacked and now he's really badly hurt. We'd better go help him out. Will you show us where he is? Whoa! Are you okay? Wait a second. You're the guy from before. Ah, uh, uh, greetings, young seafarer. You're hurt. We need to get you seen to right away. <sighs> Tis not. Uh, but the princess... What happened to Gloria? Is she okay? The fiends took her. Uh, uh... Never mind that now. Let's get you to bed. You're right. Come on. <sighs> well, I'll be jiggled. So you're the famous Sir Sloan, eh? <laughs> Lady Emma told me all kinds of wild tales about you, my man. Oh, and how is dear Emma? Is she well? I, uh... I'm afraid she passed on six months ago or so. I see. Thou wert her apprentice. Time truly does fly. Why, I can recall when the good lady studied under another herself. But forgive me, much as I would love to spend the day in fond reminiscence. Alas, there are more pressing matters at hand. I must away and rest her highness from the clutches of those unconscionable... <sighs> Rogues. Sorry, but you won't be resting anyone from anything in your condition. <laughs> I'd be surprised if you could rest yourself out of bed. But I must! Well, how about I join you? You are kind indeed, young sir, but I cannot allow it. The rogues in question are in possession of an asterisk. Well, that's all the more reason to go deal with them, right? Besides, I owe you after you help me out back there at the beach. But good sir, I... I'm coming too. If there's an asterisk involved, I'm there with bells on. Thine aid is appreciated, but... Might I ask why the asterisk would interest thee so? Oh aye, ask away pal. It's because of this old book, see? I found it when I was going through Lady Emma's stuff. I couldn't read a word of it when I first picked the thing up. But we've an asterisk near it, and the gobbledygook starts making sense. And I'm nothing if not nosy, so I set out on a quest to find enough of these special wee stones to read the whole thing. Intriguing. If I can find another asterisk and help your pal into the bargain, then everyone's a winner. Great, then we should leave right away. Though it weighs heavy on my conscience to enlist the aid of strangers, I... Fear I have little choice. You have my thanks. Her Highness has been taken to an abandoned building north of the town. Let us make haste!
you're in for a treat. Here I go. Yeah. All right then. Away, and bio your heat. Did you see that? I'm amazing. Your powers, huh? The wide open gets stuck in. Okay, what's the plan? Yahar! Hmm, what's the plan? That was a piece of cake! <laughs> Stay focused. Hmm. All right then. Yeah. Yeah. No big deal. Oh, what's next? I wonder. Away, bio your heat. Everyone okay? Lots on our side. Here I go. Yeah. Hmm. Here I go.
So what's the plan? Princess Gloria is being held hostage, right? Indeed she is, fair maiden. It will be necessary for me to enter alone and begin negotiations, lest the brigands suspect foul play. However, at a suitable juncture, I shall create a distraction, allowing your merry band to swoop in and rescue her highness. A distraction, eh? And how do you plan to do that? With this. It is a sorcerous stone that upon firm impact emits a most dazzling light. I shall cry out by the light of the sun, and by these words shalt thou know to enter. The princess knoweth well this phrase. Tis one we have long since settled upon, and by it shall know to close our eyes full tight. Nice. So we just wait for the signal, then it's go time, right? Precisely. I shall be counting on you. See what you're made of, eh? Here! Guess it's my turn! Oh, 
Okay then. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, right. Let's see. Uh, Eat sorcery. Almighty. Eat sorcery. Right here. So right in the soft bed. <laughs> Oh, it's just a big one, did you? Ooh, yeah! Oh, still no sign of him. Where is the useless old fart? Calm yourself, Dag. Becoming flustered at a time like this will only benefit our enemies. He almost got the better of you, it is true. But you will prevail in the end. You always do. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. And when I do, we'll have the wind crystal. And that little beauty's gonna make the both of us filthy, stinking rich! <laughs> you do not care that your actions might bring about untold calamity. Pull the other one? That calamity stuff's just a load of bulldust some drongo made up so they could keep the crystals for themselves. I can assure you that it is no such thing. You have seen the state of the oceans for yourself. Does that not concern you at all? Ha! <laughs> it couldn't concern me less, you madge. It'll take more than a couple of waves to put me off making the big bucks. Oh, how can you possibly be so short-sighted?
should be fun. was a piece of cake. Be villains! I have brought to you the fable jewel as requested. Now, prove that thou art as good as thy word. Allow the princess to go free. Not until we have seen the crystal. Dag. On it. Now back, rogue. The princess. Release her unto me. First the crystal. And please, do not try anything foolish. Your precious princess will only suffer all the more. Come on, Gramps. Hand it over. Oh, very well. The Princess Gloria, by the light of the sun! Ah, the eyes! Go, go, go! You okay, Gloria? It's you! Thank you. Yes. This way. Princess! Thou art unhurt, I pray. I'm quite all right. Thank you, Sir Sloan. Can we leave the pleasantries for later? We need to get out of here. Curses. Did you really think we would not be prepared for some manner of cheap trickery? So sorry to disappoint you. And you know, we really would have let you go unharmed if you had handed over the crystal as requested. But that is out of the question now. You have upset us, and therefore we must teach you a lesson. A very painful lesson. <laughs> Too bloody right we must! You've half blinded me here! Oh, for goodness sake. Pull yourself together, Dag. I... I'll be right, boss. Just a bit blindsided by these drunk guys' dirty tricks is all. You'll pay for that. Damn. It can't end like this. We were so... What the... Can it truly be? Where am I? You. You who heed my call. Wait. That's the voice I heard after I fell into the sea. Hear me. I am wind. 
the sigh of the land made crystal. The wind crystal? So that thing Sir Sloan was carrying is talking to me? It is. It was I whose breath bore you to this place. But there were those who would have seen you sunk forever. Who cut your life's thread short. What? Wait a minute. Are you trying to tell me I died back there? I am. But you are here now. Your thread retied. Rewoven. My power made it so. And now it is time to choose. Embrace oblivion and allow the coming of calamity. Or make a stand and fight for your survival. Should you choose the latter, you need only step into the light. If you seek the sweet release of death instead, you need only wait for it to wrap its arms around you. Lies, delusions, credulity, isolation, all the absurd imperfections of the human world await you. There is still time to change your mind, to forego the suffering and surrender yourself to eternal peace. But no, you choose the harder path. You are bold, courageous, this being so, I grant my power unto you. Go forward and accept your destiny. What just happened? What was that light? A revelation. The crystal's blessing. And that can mean only one thing. Thou art one of us. A hero of light. Come, let us fight. You are ready to suffer, I hope. You should do it. Allow me. Let me at him. Here I go. I'll give it all I got. Let's keep it up! You reckon you're pretty tough, don't ya? But you're no match for us, I can tell you that much! Don't get cocky, Dag. After the stunt they pulled before? Not likely! I'm gonna make them pay for being so sneaky! I'm gonna make them pay a hundred times over! <laughs> Spirits 
okay? I'm going all in! This is doing it! Not yet. <sighs> Selena? Selena! You've done it now! Prepare to die, Drongos! <laughs> to push things far is folly. Oh, right yeah. Eat sorcery! Oh, oh, we have to hide! Had enough you yet? You got me. You really got me. Oh, oh yeah! New powers, huh? We'll get you back for this! Hey! Not so fast! Sir Sloane! Time to make a swift exit. No! Wait! Sir Sloane! You're okay, right? Uh, tis not, lad. Mm, worry not. Alright, let's get out of here before they come back with more of their friends. Shall show no mercy. I'm up, huh? Yeah! Ah! 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 
to push too far is falling. Hardly worth the bother. It doesn't look like Dag and Selena came back this way. We should be okay for now. I will not pose much of a threat without their asterisks anyway. I must take this opportunity to make a report to His Majesty. He will wish to strengthen the city guard. I will join you. Thank you all so much for coming to my aid. Hey, don't mention it. You did the same for me once, remember? Aye. And with two shiny new asterisks to show for our efforts. Oh, before you go, Sir Sloan, I wanted to ask you about what you said back there. About the... Crystal's blessing? Ah, but of course. Tis a matter of great import, yet one which, alas, will not suffer a brief explanation. Perhaps we might speak of it upon my return. Uh, sure. I can wait. You are a gentleman. Alrighty! Eh? How about us lot go about our business as well and meet back at the inn? I have a few things to take care of myself. Very well. Until then. Right now, ma'am? Hmm? Oh, it's you! You really saved my skin back there, you know. I have to think of some way of paying you back. Oh, there's no need for anything like that. I won't hear of it. Imagine a debt like that left unsettled. But what to give you? Hold on. You're a sailor, aren't you? I, I, I am. How did you know that? Well, you could hardly be anything else, dear. Right, come along with me. I've got something to show you. Here you go. A little boot to say thank you. A boat? Oh, uh, no, ma'am. It's too much. Nonsense. I want you to have it. I don't get much use out of it at my age anyway. And besides, the old girl would prefer to have a handsome young fellow like you at the helm, I'm sure. <laughs> You're right about her being old. But she's in great condition from what I can see. She's wonderful, isn't she? And sturdy as anything, too, I can promise you that. Not ocean-going sturdy, perhaps, but fine as long as you don't stray too far from shore. What say you hop on board and give her a whirl? All right, you've convinced me. Don't mind if I do? <laughs> That's the spirit. Who knows what awaits over the horizon, eh? Or who you might meet.
Well, how did the old girl treat you? Beautifully. She sails like a dream. Which is why I can't accept your offer. She's too good to just give away. You can't? Hmm. Fine. If it makes you feel better, how about I lend her to you instead? I'll look after her, and you give me a shout whenever you want to take her out. Just come and find me and say the word. It's really no trouble, dear. Well, uh, I guess that will work. Thanks. Right, then. I suppose I'd better be heading back to town. Okay, ma'am. Oh, try to steer clear of any monsters this time. <laughs> I'll do my best. Firstly, I would like to thank you all once again for rescuing me. And since you went to such great lengths on my behalf, I feel it is only right that I introduce myself and my situation properly. My name is Gloria. I am, or at least was, the Princess of Musa. It has long been the duty of those of my line to see that the four crystals are kept safe in order that the calamity known as the Knight's Nexus might be kept at bay. Unfortunately, the crystals were stolen, and three, those of fire, water, and earth, remain unrecovered. Various disturbances across the land would seem to suggest that the calamity grows closer with each passing day. You mean like the flooding people have been talking about? And the waves that sank my boat? Precisely. I believe it is only a matter of time before the Knight's Nexus is unleashed. And the only way to prevent this from happening is to restore the crystals to their rightful place. This being so, dear friends, might we importune upon you to aid us in their recovery? Sir Sloane, we cannot presume to expect the help of others in matters that it is Musa's duty to resolve. Though I apprehend thy reluctance full well, my lady, it is plain that if we are to fulfill our duty, we shall be in need of allies. Capable allies. Our recent travails could not have given clearer proof of that. And what allies could be more capable than those who can count among their number one blessed by the very crystals we seek? Even so, we cannot simply assume that they will be willing to become entangled in our affairs. <laughs> I'd say we're pretty wrapped up in them already, wouldn't you? May we take this to mean that we can count upon thine aid? Well, it's not like there's any place else I need to be. And besides... Is what the matter, boy? Huh? Oh, no, it's nothing. <laughs> You're not leaving us behind either. Two may be company. 
That crowd's just what I need right now. Gaul, don't say you're getting bored of me, Elvis. Ah, as if I'd ever even think something like that. <clears throat> uh, seriously, though, we've a good reason to be coming along for the ride. Those last asterisks we got our hands on helped me read a little more of Lady Emma's old book. And from what Sir Sloan was saying, it sounds like our crystal thieves all have asterisks of their own. So, if we join you on your little adventure, I reckon my favourite special stones will be falling into our laps left and right. And you'll also have our expert hell to call on. Everyone's a winner! <laughs> Well, far be it from me to contradict the man who pays my wages. As long as we keep moving, I'm happy. Aye. Uh, r remind me why that is again? I'm looking for my sister. She disappeared from our village. And I don't really have any idea where she might be. And I need to earn a living if I want to keep searching, so... Sticking with you is my best option. For now. Oh, aye, aye. That was it, eh? Right. Well, here's hoping we find her soon. Thanks. It would seem that we are all of the same mind. What thinkest thou, milady? Hmm. Very well. Your kindness is greatly appreciated. I would be honored if you were all to join us. All righty. Oh, well, now that's settled. Let's head to the tavern and seal the deal over a wee drinky, shall we? You really love the tavern, huh? And what exactly is wrong with that, eh? A quest be gone without a little send-off ceremony's no quest at all as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Sleep escapeth thee too, I see. Huh? Oh. Hi there, Sir Sloan. I had hoped that I might have a chance to speak with thee. Tis mostly of matters long since past, but... Wouldst thou be so good as to humor an old man? I too was once favored with the blessing of the Wind Crystal. To think that half a century has passed since that day. Wait, you were? Indeed. And, having been so favored, I did set out with a band of stalwart companions in search of a means by which the Knight's Nexus might be defeated. One among whom was King Godric, Princess Gloria's own grandfather. I shall never forget the experiences we shared, not as long as I live. Hither and yon we journeyed, righting wrongs and vanquishing injustice. In time, we came to be known as the Heroes of Light. Ah, such fond memories. So you were a Hero of Light? Didn't you call me the same thing? Indeed I did. <laughs> Thou didst jolt me most jarringly back into my past, boy, I must admit. To think that it has been 50 years, and that now, after all this time, the blessing of the Wind Crystal should fall upon one such as thee. It pleases me more than words can say. Thou art mine heir. Thou art the one the Crystal hath chosen to take my place. This being so, I must ask that thou swear by thy life to protect Princess Gloria as I myself once swore to protect all those of her line. Of course. Then it is settled. Now, away with thee to bed. We rise with the dawn. Morning. Good morning. Greetings, one and all. 
how do you all look so fresh this early? Ah, good morrow. Uh, Milady, ere we depart, there is something I would present unto thee. Though it paineth me to think of it, there may come a time where thou must needs protect thyself. May this blade serve thee in thy time of need. Well, it is time to set out for our next destination, Savalon. If our suspicions are correct, the water crystal awaits us there. And Selena deserted me? Pathetic cowards. Not only did they fail to secure the crystal, they did not even have the decency to come and tell me as much. <sighs> One simply cannot rely on mercenaries. The Horogradas went to great lengths to have me made Prime Minister. I dread to think what will become of me should I fail to keep my side of the bargain by bringing them the crystal. Oh... <sighs> Perhaps the time has come for more desperate measures. <laughs> 